Welcome back to today's session. Today, let us continue with algebraic expressions. That is, we are going to see how to add and subtract the algebraic expressions. Okay. So, here, the question is, add 3x plus 11 and 7x minus 5. Is it? So, we have to add these two algebraic expressions. So, we will see how to add it. 3x plus 11 is it plus 7x minus 5. Is it children? So, first we will open the bracket. 3x plus 11 plus 7x minus 5. Is it? Now, how to add it means like terms are added and the unlike terms are left as it is. Okay. Now you just see here the first term is 3x. Is it? Is there the like term for this 3x? Yes. 7x. 3x and 7x are like terms. Is it? So like terms can be added. Is it? So 3x plus 7x. Is it? That gives you 10x. Okay. Now the next one. Again we have 11 and negative 5. Is it children? Which means both are constants. Is it? So constants also can be added or subtracted. Is it? So 11 minus 5. Is it? 11 minus 5. What is 11 minus 5? Yes, the answer will be 6. Is it? So, the sum is 10x plus 6. Clear? We will see few more examples. The first question is, add 3x plus 11 plus 8z and 7x minus 5. Is it? So, here we have to add this. So, what can we do? Yes, 3x plus 11 plus 8z. Okay? Plus 7x minus 5. Okay. Now we are opening the bracket. What will have? 3x plus 11 plus 8z. We will have plus 7x plus into minus minus 5. Okay. Now we just see here. You have to add the like terms. Is it? So 3x plus 7x. Is it? What we have? 10x. Okay. Plus 11 minus 5x. So you have plus 6, then 8z. It is an unlike term. So we will leave it as it is. That is plus 8z. Clear. So 10x plus 6 plus 8z is the answer. Okay. Now we will see how to do the second question. Okay. So here we have to add how many expressions are given to us? Four expressions. So we have to add these four expressions. So say, since it is addition, we can add all together. So we will so we'll write negative 7 mn plus 5 plus 12 mn plus 2 plus 9 mn minus 8. Okay? Plus negative 2 mn minus 3. That's it. Okay, now we'll open the bracket. Negative 7 mn plus 5 plus 12 mn plus 2 plus 9 mn minus 8. So here, plus into minus, minus 2 mn minus 3. Okay, now you can see the like terms here, mn mn. These are the like terms. Is it? So, negative 7 plus 12. Is it? Negative 7 plus 12, 5. 5 plus 9. 5 plus 9, 14. 14 minus 2. Here it is negative 2. 14 minus 2, 12. Clear? So, you have 12 m n. Okay. Now, all other terms are constants. Is it children? So, 5 plus 2, 7. 7 minus 8, negative 1. Negative 1, negative 3. Negative 4. So, minus 4. So, the sum is 12 m n minus 4. Okay. Now, we will see how to subtract two expressions. Okay. The question is, 
subtract 24 ab minus 10 b minus 18 a from 30 ab plus 12 b plus 14 a is it so here we have to subtract these two expressions so the first expression is it it should be subtracted from the second expression is it so which one are you going to write first as a second expression is it children so we can write 30 ab plus 12b plus 40a okay minus 24ab minus 10b minus 18a clear okay now we are going to open the bracket 30ab plus 12b plus 14a here minus into plus minus 24ab minus into minus plus 10b minus into minus plus 18a okay now you just see we are going to pair the like terms ab here also you have ab is this right now 30 minus 24 is 6ab okay next variable is b is there any b yes so 12 plus 10 is 22 b the next one a 14 plus 18 how much as you have 32 a clear so 6 a b plus 22 b plus 32 a is the difference between these two expressions clear move to the next question from the sum of 2 y square plus 3 y z negative y square minus y z minus z square and y z plus 2 z square subtract the sum of 3 y square minus z square and minus y square plus y z plus z square that's it so here in this question from the sum of is it children so first we are going to find the sum of these two that is these three expressions okay subtract the sum of Again, you are going to find the sum of these two expressions. Clear or not? So, first the sum of these three expressions. Next, the sum of these two expressions. So, say after that, we have to subtract both. Clear children? So, first we are going to find the sum 2y square plus 3yz plus minus y square minus yz minus z square plus yz plus 2z square okay now open the bracket 2y square plus 3yz minus y square minus yz minus z square plus yz plus 2z square clear okay now y square is the like terms Yes, you have one more y square. Is it student? So 2 y square minus y square. So what is here? Here the coefficient is 2. Here it is negative 1. Is it minus 1? Is it? So 2 minus 1, 1. So the answer is y square. Clear. Again, y z. Y z, y z and y z. Is it? So you just see 3 y z minus 1 y z. 2yz, 2yz plus 1yz, 3yz, so 3 into 1z, okay, so y square is over, yz is over, the remaining is z square, is it children? So minus 1z square plus 2z square, is it? So here it is minus 1, here it is 2, so minus 1 plus 2, yes, plus 1z square, here, so if the coefficient is 1, you don't want to mention that. Okay, so this is the first sum. Clear? Now we do the second one. So what is the second one? 3y square minus z square plus minus y square plus yz plus z square. 
is it? So what do you have? Open the brackets. 3y square minus z square minus y square plus yz plus z square. Okay. So here 3y square is minus 1y square. Is it? What do you have? 2y square. Now minus 1z square plus 1z square. Minus 1 plus 1. Got cancelled 0. So you don't want to write that. Okay. Again, what is the value? Yz. So, plus Yz. Clear? So, this is the next sum. Okay. So, now we got two sums. As a student, now from this, from the first sum, you have to subtract the second sum. As a student, so from the first, you have to subtract the second. So, here we show you have to write first the first one, does it? So, Y square plus 3yz plus z square minus 2y square plus yz. Okay, now you can open the bracket here. So, what do you have? y square plus 3yz plus z square minus 2y square minus yz. Okay, now y square is there any other y square? S. Yes. Minus 2y square is it? So, 1 y square minus 2 y square. 1 minus 2 is minus 1 y square. Okay. Again y z is. 1 more is here. 3 y z minus 1 y z is. You have 2 y z. Again 1 z square is there. It is unlike term. So you can keep as it is. So minus y square plus 2 y z plus z square is the answer. Okay. The next question is, we have to simplify the given expression, is it? So, how would this means? You just see the first expression, okay? 21b minus 32 plus 7b minus 20b, is it? Right? See, in the first expression, there are like terms, is it? So, we all know we can add or subtract the like terms, is it? Right? So, what are we going to do means? We are going to combine all the like terms, okay? And we are going to get the simplified form. If, if there is an unlike term, you can keep as it is. The simplified form, you are going to get it. Okay. So, just see, in the first example, there are like terms. Is it right? So, 21b plus 7b minus 20b. Is it? So, 21 plus 7, 28. 28 minus 28. Is it no? So, what is the simplified form? 8b. Again, one constant is there. You can write as it is minus 32. So, 8b minus 32 is the simplified form of this given expression. Again, we cannot add or subtract here. Let's say, so, that final is the simplified form. Clear. Now, move to the next one. You just see the second one, there are brackets to be opened. Let's say, so, first we will open the bracket. Okay. So, how can you write p minus into plus minus p minus into minus plus q. Again, minus q. Okay, minus q. Again, open the bracket. Minus into plus. Minus q. Minus into minus. Plus p. Okay. Now, we just see p minus p. 0. Again, is there any p? Yes, here there is one p. So, again, only that one p will be remaining. p minus p. Got 0. Again, 0 plus 1 p. 1 p. Okay. Here, q minus q. Plus 1 minus 1 does it? It will become 0. Again, what is that? Minus Q. So, P minus Q is the simplified form. Okay. Move to the next topic. Finding the value of an expression. Okay. So, what does that mean? You have to find the value of the expression. Okay. For the given value of the variable. It is here. You have to find the value of expression. For x is equal to 2. The meaning is, when x is equal to 2, what will be the value of this given expressions? Which means, in the place of x, what can we substitute? 2. Because x is equal to 2 is given to us, is it? So, substituting 2 in the place of x, we are going to find the value. Okay. So, in the first question, x plus 4, instead of x, what can we substitute there? 2, is it? So, 2 plus 4 gives you 6. So, 6 is the value of this expression for x is equal to 2. Clear? Here, x square, 
is it so in the place of x what can you substitute 2 is it children so 19 minus 5 into 2 square x square 2 square clear then it is 5 into x square so 5 into 2 square clear so what do you have 9 minus 5 into 4 5 into 4 is it children as you all know first you have to do this multiplication here is it so what do you have 19 minus 20 which gives you negative 1 clear now the next one 2x square minus x minus 2. So in the place of x, we are going to substitute 2. So 2 into 2 square minus 2 minus 2. Okay, so what do you have? 2 into 4 minus 2 minus 2. That is 8 minus 2 minus 2. 8 minus 2, 6. 6 minus 2, 4. So the answer is 4. Okay, so this is how you will find the value of an expression. Clear? We will see one more question. Find the values of expressions for a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 2. Here, in these expressions, two variables are used. So, they have given the value of two expressions a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 2. Where we have to substitute those values. So, this is that, so in the first case, a is equal to 3. So, 3 square plus 2 square that is 9 plus 4 gives you 13. Clear? So here it is 13. Okay. The next one. 7a minus 4b that is 7 into 3 minus 4 into 2. 21 minus 8. Is it children? So 21 minus 8 that gives you 13. Clear? 21 minus 8 is equal to 13. Last one. A square plus 2ab plus b square. That is 3 square plus 2 into 3 into 2 plus 2 square. That is 9 plus 2 3 of 6. 6 into 2, 12 plus 4. Is it? 9 plus 12 plus 4. It gives you 9 plus 12. How much? 21. 21 plus 4, 25. So these are the values of the given expression for a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 2. Clear? Okay. So hope you understood today's portion. Thank you.